welcome to the pharma topper friends uh, today i'm going to cover the formulation study the permeability which is i uh, told you that uh, it is uh, mainly the caco2 cell line and the pampa membrane uh, it is largely covered but uh, first of all i'm going to tell you that uh, what is the permeability and uh, then after i will be telling you that uh, what are the mechanisms of the permeation and then after this coming of the permeability so starting with the permeability suppose this uh, this line it is the biological membrane biological membrane it can be either any intestinal membrane or bbb or anything else suppose this are the molecules on this side so this ability of this molecule to pass this membrane and appear in system with circulation or pass any biological membrane to go from one side to the another side it is termed as a, it is based on its permeability and permeability is generally expressed uh, in centimeter per second and uh, there are two terms uh, namely p efficient and p apparent efficient permeability and apparent permeability the main difference between these two term that uh, in case of the efficient permeability we doesn't uh, we don't consider uh, we don't consider any type of the cell uh, um, so whatever the activity ha happening in the cell it is the in situ permeation techniques and metabolism of uh, metabolism of membrane then influx transportation this all are not considered so it is the efficient permeability in which the metabolism not considered influx not considered while apparent permeability it is uh, generally which is uh, checked in the everted gut sac uh, which is axial technique or the caco to cell line uh, which includes the which includes the transporters and all that so this is known as the apparent permeability so here these two are the terms are uh, for a convention if uh, i think that uh, efficient permeability doesn't involve the metabolism and the reflex right apparent permeability includes this all things so for generally uh, apparent permeability is always less than that of efficient permeability so this is about the this permeability definition and the the type of permeability which we can measure now the permeation mechanisms uh, which are there uh, including the transport from the bar. suppose this one is the cell uh, this is a layer of cells 1 2 3 and 4 cells are there if the my molecule passes from here it can be the passive diffusion passive diffusion is a transcellular transport uh, which can we can measure by means of pampa suppose my molecule is passed through here which is the trans uh, not a trans sorry paracellular transport this paracellular transport mainly depend on the molecular weight of the compound and uh, the size polarity polarity of the compound because we have the aqueous pores and next is the endocytosis in which the sac forms and it will throw it away and this is any phagocytosis or pinocytosis based in the based on the aqueous and the solid components if the component is the solid then it's termed as the phagocytosis and if it's a liquid then it's termed as the pinocytosis next is the efflux compound taken once taken in it may do not pass from apical to basal lateral site basal lateral site is impermeable and it may be thrown out which is known as the efflux next is the active transport on the basis of some carriers and all that which requires the energy passive diffusion here mainly the absorb mainly the absorption pathway when the transcellular pathway uh, that is, it is a function of the hydrophobicity hydrogen bonding and the ionization whereas the paracellular pathway this one pathway paracellular pathway it is the function of the size shape and the ionization so these are about the permeation mechanisms and uh, next is the permeability screening uh this permeability screening mainly done uh, by means of uh, pampa caco2 in vitro one can go for the in vivo techniques uh, that uh, intestinal perfusion studies in human or one can also go for the in vivo perfusion study in the animal but in vitro these two techniques are there which are generally accepted by the us fda and uh, also my mix the some level of the human intestine it is the caco2 
Uh, first of all, I'm going with the CACO2 cell line uh, in which the one box is there. Here we have to grow our membrane on this polycarbonate filter. This is the filter. We have to grow our membrane, our cell line here. Then after this will be the apical site. This will be the basal apical site. And uh, your solution which we have to measure will be filled here. And then after sampling is done from the apical vasodilatory site. And uh, generally the advantage of the CACO2 cell line is that uh, this uh, also includes uh, some transporters, efflux, efflux are there, transporters are there and it is a uh, CACO2 stand for the common carcinoma cell line of the human intestine. So it completely when it is grown in uh, particular fashion under some conditions it works as the intestinal cell line however it is the colon cells but it can work as the intestinal cells if it is grown under certain conditions so this is the beneficial that the kakaku cell line have the same uh, same environment and the same function functions the same as that of the human intestine so there is a major advantage with the kakaku cell line but pumpa assay is there which is uh, which stands for the parallel parallel membrane permeability assay this Pampa assay, generally the donor accepted access to the compartment is there and uh, buffer, uh, it is done under the condition of buffer from apical uh, upper, upper and is accepted and then donor compartments and the filter, filter plate in this case here we know the polycarbonate membrane and then above that the cathode cell line is grown and here lipid uh, is there on the filter so generally 2% of the phosphatic alkaline indoor again is used 2% of phosphatidyl alkaline in dodecan is used and permeability through it, this membrane is checked this goes uh, as I told you before only doesn't encounter the efficient uh, metabolism all that so it gives efficient permeability while cacodo cell line gives apparent permeability so this is uh, this is all about the permeability and uh, according to the biopharmaceutical classification system the compounds uh, which falls under class 1 and the class 3 having the higher permeability and the compounds falling under class 2 and the class 4 sorry class 1 and the class 3 and class 2 and the class 4 they are class 1 to having the higher permeability and class 3 and class 4 having the lower permeability so what is the higher permeability and what is the lower permeability generally when 2 into 10 is 2 minus 4 cm per second minus 5 sorry 2 into 10 is 2 minus 5 cm per second it is greater than that it is termed as a higher permeability and less than this value is termed as a lower permeability so I mean, this is all about the permeability. For further videos, please subscribe to the Pharma Toppers. Thank you.